And Lady Gaga's narcoleptic, so she's gone. Oh! There's a guy! Hold up, can we attack him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go over there, attack him. Kill him. He's asking for forgiveness! Oh, I'm sorry, little buddy. I, I saw that too late, and we already had decided to kill you. We got some meat out of that, though. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Oxygen Not Included. I'm your host, the bird known as Falcon. So, before we get underway over here, let me answer the number one question I've been getting. Falcon, Oxygen Not Included is out. Why aren't you playing it, you dumb bird? Huh? Why won't you play the game? Play the game! Why won't you play the game, you stupid bird? Well, I'm um, number one. Th thanks for inquiring about why I haven't played it. I got the game key over the weekend, so unfortunately it delayed me a little bit because over the weekend I'm off of work, my actual job. And I don't record those days too just because, you know, I'm off of everything those days. I don't want to know anything. I'm nobody during the weekend. So unfortunately, it delayed me a little bit, so I'm a bit late to the party, as you could probably tell. I'm pretty sure everybody who's going to cover this game is already covering it. So because of that, we might not do a series for now. I might just do two videos here today, but this is where you guys come in. If you want me to keep this run as a series, as a, you know, a thing on the channel for a while, let me know in the comments, let me know by leaving a like, and it'll let me know, hey, people want to see more of this from me, so I will produce more of it. In case you don't know what this is about, imagine RimWorld meets Craft the World. You put those two babies together, and what do you get? Huh? You, you get Rim the World. Oh my. That's kind of lewd. <laughs> okay, don't don't rim the world, but it's essentially those two games put together. So as you can see, we have Batman, who's going to be a medicine expert, a little bit decent at um, learning as well. We have Lady Gaga, who happens to be the amazing construction person and creativity as well. And finally, we have Fred Durst, who's going to be our cook, digging specialist and tinkering as well. All of them have different traits, and they'll always have a positive one and a negative one, maybe even multiple positives and negatives, depending on the level, I guess. But here we have Batman, who's naturally robust, meaning he is he has a strong immune system. Unfortunately, Batman will not be able to cook. He's got a really big fear of the uh, the kitchen as well. Um, we have Lady Gaga, who happens to be uncultured. Wow, we those are some fighting words there, Gaga. Uh, apparently, with this one, I don't have to worry too much about the decor of the base, and... Um, she will refuse to do art. Oh, how about that? Fuck Art Forever is back. My god, this is really turning into RimWorld. And finally, Fred Durst, Grease Monkey. Now, let's see. And he's a Yoko, so <laughs> Fred Durst the Yoko. He will not be able to research. Apparently, Fred Durst is very dumb. Oh, we. All right, so I think this is actually pretty good. Name the colony, huh? I want to call this uh, Rim <laughs> the World. Because you know what? We already went for it. Let's embark. Alrighty, so here we go, and we all have the positive trade New Hope. Ah, oh, Star Wars, baby. Alert! Your crew has awoken miles beneath the surface of an unfamiliar terrestrial body. Oddly, they have no recollection how they got there. It might be best to start digging. Let's start off over here by going down below. So, let's do some digging. We'll do some of the digging, digging, and we want to go straight. Well, I mean, can't dig that, but we'll dig this here at the very least. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and dig some through here. I mean, I guess we could pop this open through this side too, right? No reason not to. Yeah, no reason not to. Okay, let's unpause here. All right, so we want to get down below. We need a ladder. We're going to make this ladder out of sandstone, which is going to be like the biggest thing that we have here, at least the most amount. Now, the problem with the sandstone will be that the decor for it is really not that great. Meaning, um, you know, if you're looking to keep the stress high by having like, you know, a lot of like nice stuff around, things made out of um, sandstone, as you can see, is negative five decor, but you know, I really haven't focused too much in decor. Of course, I've only, you know, played up to like 17 cycles, so I'm not really too far familiar with the stuff to come. But um, early on, I had never really felt like, oh my god, I need some high decor. So I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. The first thing we want to do here is, I mean, I want to set up tiles everywhere. Just for at least tiles, you know? I don't want to have Sanson over the place. But um, we want to get down here first. How you doing over here, Lady Gaga? Yes, this place is Gaga. All right, so we're almost down here. Um, let's see. Let's start building some things here. We're going to need some storage compactor now. Everything you're seeing on the floor can indeed be picked up, but you need the proper um, storage for it, obviously. Otherwise, it hangs out over here. I don't think it really bothers you other than your OCD. It's going to bother my OCD at the very least here. So I do need some compactors here at some point. In terms of food, we can make the microbe musher, which is going to cost us raw metal, which I do believe is the copper, right? Raw metal is copper ore. Coal, yeah, this is going to be consumable ore. So we definitely have to get in here. Now, this is going to be vacuum. 
Vacuum, what it's gonna do is gonna suck the oxygen towards it. It's not necessarily a bad thing. If you dig into it, it's not gonna kill you, but it's gonna drag oxygen over to it. But essentially what's gonna happen here is that eventually you'll be able to make it part of your little, um, I guess base if you want to, but just by making sure you fill it with oxygen before you dive in there, head on steam. So, we absolutely have to keep going down this way because we need some of that. And let's see, let's speed it up here. It's probably a shortcut for that. Uh, tab for the fast speed. Alright, so, you don't really have to worry too much about the sweeping. I guess they're prioritizing the building first. I guess that makes sense. But you guys need to break up the, the, the building, though. Okay, there you go. Batman, you work over there. Gaga on the other side. Gaga on the other side. Well, forget it then, Gaga. God damn it. There goes Batman. Yeah, yeah. Multitask, people. See, we got two different jobs of the same thing. Break it in half, you know? There we go. Uh, we did get a couple of skill increases. As they do more jobs, they'll level up and become more proficient, as you could probably imagine. So that's cool over here. Let's go ahead and do the tile down through here for now. And this is where I kind of want to set up the toilet. Which is kind of weird because it's next to our pure water, so... <laughs> I might want to rethink that. Maybe into the vacuum would be more ideal, I would say. Now... Technically speaking, I don't have to break in here just yet, and I, I don't think we, we will, actually. How about instead we cancel you and you, and we'll dig through here, just because I do need the copper ore. But we'll leave it like so. Although, I do feel like the restroom would make more sense over here, because the smell and the heat it'll emit, uh, you know, I mean, toilets are stinky. Now, obviously, uh, pollute the oxygen and the air around us, so a vacuum near it would be pretty ideal. Just suck all the smell out of the way. It's kind of like our... Homemade uh, air refreshers, I think you'd probably say. Now, check this out. Now we're seeing a little bit of the carbon dioxide over here building up. And that's going to kind of slow them down a little bit. They'll probably have to get like more exhausted faster, so they have to kind of back come over here and just relax. Get some oxygen into the lungs here. So this is kind of bad to see. Really bad to see, as a matter of fact. So we're going to have to start producing some oxygen. Or what we want to ideally do is actually turn this carbon dioxide into a clean source of water. Uh, not water, but air, oxygen. If we come over to oxygen, what we're looking to actually uncover for that's going to be the algae terrarium, which unfortunately does require the farming tech research. So right off the bat, let's start building up some power. And I think more than likely what we'll do is we will make the power gathering down below. And up above, I'm going to keep our, our future beds. And the reason why I'm doing this is because oxygen goes up. Okay, so pooper. We need the pooper, right? Okay. Well, I'm not crazy about it, but I guess we'll, we will place it here after all. Let's go over to... What am I looking for? Plumbing. Outhouse. Hang out right over... Preferably here. Just get all the way back over there. And while you guys do that, let's also start breaking this into... Nope, no, no, no. Tiles, please. Down through here. Combat? Oh my god, I've actually never done combat before. This is the first time. <laughs> oh my, who's this little guy? He was like, where was he out? Oh, he dug back in. <gasps> hey, there's a monster here. I've never seen that before. That's actually kind of crazy. We got a couple of light wounds here, unfortunately. I didn't even know there was combat in the game. Uh, again, I'm learning as I go here as well, so don't expect me to, like, go promo G, but, um, wow. I guess we might want to keep our eyes out open for that. It seems kind of worrisome. He did almost go down, so there is that. But he wasn't really too crazy about us ruining the the environment around him. I mean, I don't blame him. I mean, who are we to really do that? Ladder. Let's actually build you all the way down below. And they're going to... Alright, so day number one is done. How you get more duplicate... Oh, this little scumbag's over here just hanging out. Hey, what are you doing? You, my friend, are gonna die at some point, okay? Don't think I forgot about you. Yeah, you goddamn hatch. I'm gonna kill you, you, you little... What are you? You look like an Ammonite or some kind. You're like a Pokemon. I'm gonna call you Ammonite. Um, anyway. How you get more people is, over time, the printing pod will give us more people. So at the moment, we're waiting for 900 and something seconds for the next person to come in. We do want to set up some beds, obviously. It'll help us rest and reduce more stress by sleeping on a bed. And Lady Gaga's narcoleptic, so she's gone. Oh! There's a guy! Hold up, can we attack him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go over there, attack him. Kill him. He's asking for forgiveness! Oh, I'm sorry, little buddy. I, I saw that too late, and we already had decided to kill you. We got some meat out of that, though. That's weird. I've never seen it before, and I'm kind of liking it a little bit. Okay, so we are eating over here. That's fine. Now, everything's done. Let's start building um, power. And we also want to start making our oxygen here. 
Now, luckily for us, we still have a lot of oxygen here, so it's not really a big deal. But it's going to tell you over here, like, hey, by the way, you got no food source. Don't worry too much about this. It's going to really warn you early on. So even though you'll see, like, lack of oxygen messages, it's not that you're pending, your pending dooms above you. But it's telling you, like, really early on, like, hey, you might want to look into that. So, you know, if you ever see that, don't worry too much about it. Unless you, you know, ignore it for a very long time. So let's go over to power and we'll go to, let's see, manual generator. And how this works out is very much like a hamster wheel. They're going to run in place over here and just kind of run, run, run and collect power. Um, I guess how I want to do this perhaps is going to be... Yeah, I guess this will work for now. I have to set up a proper setup here. I want to have levels where I have these things happening, but um, right now we'll just do it this way. So we'll place you down through here. Gonna have a couple of batteries for sure. Early on, like maybe two really seem to work. And then we'll do the... Um... The algae producer, which would be an oxygen. Or the algae deoxidizer. Uh, two is pretty good early on, I guess. But we'll just do it one and see how this works out. We might actually add some more, but, you know, one at a time. So oxygen is good to go. Let's go back to power. We want to make sure we're collecting everything together. So bam. That's that's a very bad bam, Falcon. Cancel. Excuse me. Did I... Oh, it canceled by itself. Great. Good. That was a really bad bam on my side. There it is. So it's all connected now. Eventually, they'll start building that. It'll be good to go. So that's going to require copper ore, which we should have a lot of. In terms of al algae, we're at 750 kilograms. Alrighty. We're still producing some oxygen from the oxalate. It's not really a big deal. Batman or Fred Durst is actually taking a poop. Speaking of the poops, um, we have 13 visits, uh, 12 after Batman's done over here dropping the deuce. God damn it, Batman. So after a while, you do have to clean it up. You can clean it beforehand if you want as well, but it's going to produce um, poop, which you can then turn into fertilizer. Believe me, the game's actually really cool how amazing it is when you like get something. More than likely, whenever you have something on your hand, you could turn something into it. So, you know, like poop will be compost fertilizer at some point. It's really, really cool. So now Lady Gaga is going to take it upon herself to power up our batteries and produce some oxygen over here. And there goes Fred Durst to dump it into, dumping the algae into here, and that's going to produce some air for us. Now, as I mentioned, the oxygen goes upwards, so eventually we're going to want to make sure that we have not too much um, oxygen pressure going on over here. So at the moment, I think this is fine, right? Yeah. Okay. Now let's actually worry about food. Food's going to be the next one on the agenda, and we have the microbe musher. So we could do this one. Now, the problem with the microbe musher is that it'll make you mush bars, which look very much like poop, especially when they get produced. So it looks like you're eating a, a bar of poop. Very nasty. Um, it also has a chance to maybe cause diarrhea. So what we could do instead is, let's see here. I think we have to do some research first. I want to do the other one, don't I? Yeah. So I guess for now, we're going to probably have to go with the microbe musher. This is also going to require power. So I guess there's really no problem with, for now, just placing that bad boy right here. Let's go over to the old power line, and we'll do electrical wire like so. Okay. So, with this done, I think we want to start researching. Uh, you're probably thinking about the beds, too, huh? Falcon, why don't you give them some beds? Fine, I'll give them some beds. Let's go over here and make some cots, and we'll make them out of sandstone. And let's see, where is it kind of good for them to do? This is very breedable here, right? Yeah, it's going to go upwards anyway. I could do a couple more openings so the oxygen flows better, but we'll worry about that later. For now, I guess we'll do... Bam, bam, bam. Have a couple of places for them to sleep. Now, after this is done, now we have to start worrying about... I had it on my mind before I, s I switched over to the beds. What was it? What did I just say? I said, oh, the computer's right for research. Correct. No fabrication skewed. All right, so here we have the two options. We have the mush bar, and we have the lice loaf. The lice loaf, I don't think we can make until we actually get some meal lice, which you probably don't have. Um, we're also going to need some water, meaning... A ladder down here to collect this water would be very ideal. So right now we'll do the mush bar. We have 20,000 food stored up. So technically speaking, we don't really need it right now, but it's ready to be built. Or at least ready to fabricate whenever we have, uh, do need some food. I try to avoid the mush bar as long as possible. So we won't actually have it running for now. Let's do the ladder down here to collect some water because we are going to need that. Okay, so that's done. Let's go worry about our computer now to start researching. So we want, um, stations, is it? Yeah, research stations. So we'll need both of them, mind you. But we'll start off with the research station. Eventually need a supercomputer for the other further research down the line. But for now, this one alone should be able to work. And I do believe we have one person that's very good at this. I think we do anyway. Hmm, I shouldn't really place it there. Let's get a little bit, um, 
creative with our building here. I do kind of want to have it like maybe up here. This produces heat, so wherever we want to put this down, we want to make sure we don't have anything that's going to be conflicting with the heat production from the research station. But we also need to power it up, so we have to run a wire to it. I, I guess over here, ah, uh, research station. I guess we'll place you over here for now. Sure. We'll break this up into like a more proper looking base here pretty soon. Electrical wire, I guess we have to wait. So just build that first and then we'll run a wire straight up over here. Now we're collecting some water as well. Or we will at some point. Okay, and there's our computer ready to be built. Now meanwhile that's over here built, we do need to continue digging. So, so far the oxygen is looking pretty good. We have more algae over here, which is something I do want to collect. Now is there anything harvestable here I wonder? Let's see, harvest. Yes, we have a couple of um, things that can be harvested. So go ahead and harvest those. We have oxalate here. Make sure we don't break through that. Oxalate here and here. Very cool. Let's dig. Dig this. And dig this. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, that's no good. Chlorine. We might not want to crack that open at any point just yet. Granite. We have raw minerals over here as well. We have a lot more algae over here too. Um, we have some sand up above. Copper ore. Okay, so this is ready to go. Let's see, let's go to power, and we'll do electrical wire. Unfortunately for now, we have to get just a, a wire straight down this way. Luckily, the ladder's right next to it, so it shouldn't be a problem to build. For a second there, I thought Fred versus another enemy, and I was gonna be like, what's happening with this run? Why am I getting so many enemies? But no, Fred. You're not an enemy. What do we have here? Basic controls? Yeah, I know about that. Yep, I know about that. I know all about that. And oxygen generation. So at the moment it's telling us that we have produced 37 and we have consumed 122. Which is probably true. We only have one algae producer over here. The max gas pressure is set up here. So, um, you know, we'll worry more about that later. As I mentioned, it's not really a big problem until later on. Plus, I always keep a really close eye on this overlay. So, eventually we'll start worrying about it. So this over here should be powered up now, right? We have to open up research. And the first thing I want to do is grab the farming tech for the algae terrarium. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, isn't it? Yeah, that's always the first one I go for. And then eventually we'll start worrying about a proper toilet and a, and a shower as well. Because right now we have a lot of stress when it comes to griminess and dirtiness and stuff like that. But we'll start off with farming tech over here. And let's go over here to produce these until we have enough. Excuse me. There we go. And one of our dudes should run over there and start doing that. Ad infinitum. Who's it gonna be? Who's gonna be our big researcher? Is it Batman? No, it's Lady Gaga. Gaga, for real? You're, you're the you're the big research person here? I find it hard to believe, Gaga. I mean, no offense, but, you know, I, for some reason, I felt that your tinkering's at zero. <laughs> Batman, what about you, dog? I hear your medicine at seven, learning is at two? Oh, no, it might be Gaga after all. Fred Durst, what about you, dude? Actually, Fred Durst is a yokel, so we can't do that. Yeah, it's between Gaga and Batman. And apparently, Gaga is smarter than Batman. We have found something out very important today. Lady Gaga is a lot smarter than Batman. That's very highly impressive, I tell you. All right, so right now, I think we're out of time for this one. Uh, we have a couple of beds. We have water collection. We have... We'll probably have to focus more on oxygen production here pretty soon. We have some research happening. We have a way to get food. We have 28,000 right now, so we don't have to worry too much about it. But soon enough, we'll start producing some much bars. I think it's a good start. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like if you'd like to see some more. I'm going to do at least one more video, and then um, I'll let you guys make the call and we'll let me give this around. I will catch you next time.